One of the popular topics on emerging ed tech for years here has been interactive whiteboards, specifically free online tools. I did a post back in 2010 called Six Free Online Interactive Whiteboards, and it's been in the top 10 articles for traffic on the site ever since. And I wanted to do an update on it because three of the tools that are in that article are no longer available. Now, fortunately, some, quite a few of the readers that have read that article have commented about different tools they've used. So I recently went out, did some research on them, and put together a post on it to provide a uh, much more up-to-date article with current resources. And that's what I want to share with you here today. So if you click on the URL that you'll find in the video description, it'll bring you out to the article. And here you will see that I am providing introductions to four of the applications that were suggested by users that I found were worth sharing. And then I also provide a little bit of information about three of the original six uh, online whiteboards from the post I did back in 2010 uh, that are still available today because three of the other six are no longer available. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first on the list is Twiddla at TWIDDLA.com and it was really easy to invite others to collaborate and I, you know, with all these tools I did a little collaboration to, uh, to check them out. It has a real good set of tools. Um, add images, add a web page, a document, and use those as your background to do the markup. There's a color palette tool and pen widths. You can insert shapes and text. Um, there's even a browse option so that links in your background image can be clicked on and be and work, which is pretty unique for amongst these different tools. Um, there's a chat built in and there's even free audio conferencing. So really powerful tool and I would have to say it would be kind of my go-to if I was trying to do something with a tool like this uh, for free. And it's a great place to start and see if it meets your needs. Next, certainly worth looking at is Vue.com. Um, the, well, an interesting thing they had going on is that you can assign roles and time limits to how long somebody can collaborate with you. And there are roles like viewer, reviewer, collaborator, or moderator that each have increasing levels of capability. So that was pretty neat. Um, and again, a, a breakdown here of the different kinds of tools they have. Uh, definitely worth something considering, particularly if you're looking for this idea of providing different levels of capability to the people you invite to the session. Next, we have Megascope's whiteboard, uh, particularly interesting to note in light of the fact that Megascopes.com is a, a, a wider spanning site that's geared towards collaboration, and this whiteboard is just one of their tools. Uh, I focus here on the whiteboard itself. It does have a pretty robust set of functionality to it and is worth investigating, particularly if you find that you like the idea of how it fits into the larger scope of capabilities on Megascopes.com, which you'd have to click around and, and play with a little bit to learn. And then the last one I wanted to consider in this new set was Group Board. Um, it did start to prompt about having the right version of Java and HTML, and I suppose even something like that could have happened with some of the other apps if I wasn't up to date with some of those things. Um, but I didn't want to get into having to do the, uh, the downloads and all that stuff when I'd already found apps that worked fine. Um, it does seem to be geared more towards paid use, uh, where, you know, the kind of freemium version of the app um, is just to kind of, you know, get you going there. Uh, some interesting notes there about being able to work with smart pads and tablets, I'm sorry, smartphones and tablets. Um, so just another one really worth sharing. There's enough free functionality to test it out. And if you're looking at the idea of potentially integrating with a wider variety of mobile devices, um, it may be very well worth checking out, but it may also lead to having to incur costs to utilize it in those environments in, the, uh, in a robust fashion. And then there's the three of the um, apps from my original review that are still functional. Scribblr, nice tool. You do need to sign up to use it. Uh, that's one of the advantages of those other apps that in their free uh, releases or in some cases because that's just the way the tool works. Um, you don't need to have to go and sign up and create an account and all that, which just makes it quicker and easier. And um, you know, sometimes uh, you know when you go creating a lot of accounts all over the place, it gets to be a little bit of a concern that you've just got yourself spread around too many places. Um, so nice scribbler, nice tool. You do have to sign up, but um, also has a chat and uh, some voice communication capabilities. So powerful, good tool, absolutely worth checking out. Uh, 
Scribble s still says it's in beta. Um, the free version doesn't allow for collaboration, so I, I didn't really find that compared to these other tools, it was worth it. And Scriblink also needed a certain version of Java, um, but uh, I, I couldn't get, I, I had trouble getting it to work, but I didn't want to go through all the uh, machinations to do it when all these other tools seem to work so well. And, um, you know, if anybody is using Scriblink successfully, uh, I, I please, you know, comment and let us know about it. But in conclusion, I really came away feeling that Twiddler and Vue, Vue, by the way, V-Y-E-U.com, as opposed to how one would normally spell Vue. Um, but Twiddle and View, absolutely worth checking out. And then Megascopes, Group Board, and Scriblar um, would be kind of backups depending upon different functionality you might want. And uh, so there you have it. I hope that that's useful. I hope you find these tools useful if this is what you're looking for. Um, always like to know more, so please comment if you have certain experiences or have used these tools or have used other tools that you'd like to recommend. And thank you very much.